Okay, everyone, let's look at module 26204-23, Conduit Bending in the NCCER 11th edition. This will be section 1.00, NEC Requirements for Conduit Bending. NEC Requirements for Conduit Bends. Conduit installation often requires changes of direction along the path. Unless contract specifications indicate otherwise, changes of directions are often made by bending the conduit. For larger conduit, changes of direction are sometimes accomplished with factory-formed elbows or conduit body. The minimum radius requirements. Installation requirements for conduit are covered in NEC Chapter 3. The minimum bend radius of conduits is established in NEC Chapter 9, Table 2. When bends are too tight or conduit is distorted, pulling wire becomes more difficult and conductor insulation can be damaged. Number of bends per run. Every change of direction in a conduit adds to the difficulty of the pull. The sum of all bend angles should not exceed 360 degrees. Types of conduit bends include the elbow, offset, saddle, and kick. Many electricians prefer to install boxes at closer intervals to reduce the number of bends. And some trade terms we should become familiar with for this module. And some review questions for this section. For every size of a conduit, there's a single minimum bending radius that must be maintained. True or false? Say false. The type of bend required where conduit enters a panel board is most likely a elbow, an offset, a kick, or a saddle. It's going to be an offset. All right, that's it for that section. Next will be uh, 2.00 bend distances, and I will see you over there.